Well, at least you didn't watch something awful. That's all that matters. Oh, my God. At least you didn't watch a hunk of shit. I, I, I was reading uh, some of the tweets oh. from Jimmy Norton. Uh, and it, it was hilarious because I felt uh, I felt like I was transported back in time to the days um, of yesteryear. Uh, yesteryear, another another century, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, fucking movie made me so angry. That fucking Phantom that, Menace. He George Lucas. Yeah, I'm sorry. He might be eats a, balls. He say it. You know, like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far. It's away. time to say he's overrated. I um, <laughs> I saw the first two. I didn't watch the third one of the trilogy. The, the second one was extraordinarily dull, but it got there were some really cool parts of it. Yeah. But uh, then I watched. Someone told me to go see that guy, Red Edit or whatever. The, who's the guy that does the fucking? It's the funniest thing I've seen on YouTube. Is the guy b destroying the Phantom Menace? Oh, really? It's a fucking one-hour review on oh, video, wow. and it is fucking hilarious. Somebody directed me to it. Oh, let, where's the plug? Let's get other people oh, to my, check it out. It's three million I, people have watched this thing already. I've never seen it. He destroys Phantom Menace. You didn't I, like Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> he didn't even go after Jar Jar that much. He just no, kept calling him was... a cartoon Robert. But the guy killed it on the story, the protagonist. Like, he really destroyed it. Wow. He, is this it? Now, what they, didn't you like? Could possibly fuck up the entire backstory to Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> While my son eventually hanged himself in the bathroom of the gas station, <laughs> the unfortunate reality of the Star Wars prequels is that they'll be around forever. They will never go away. A word. It this... could never be undone. Is that his real voice? No, I don't someone think so. who's under the age of like 20 says his least favorite film in the series is The Empire Strikes Back because it was the most boringest one. Then I suggest you shut this review off right now <laughs> before I carefully explain how much of a fucking idiot you are. <laughs> so where do I possibly I love start? This guy's voice. Nothing in the Phantom Menace makes any sense at all. It comes off like a script written by an eight-year-old. It's like George Lucas finished the script in one draft, like he turned it in and they decided to go with it without anyone saying that it made no sense at all. <laughs> Incoherent mess. This guy's crazy. At this point, who's going to question George or tell him what to do? I take it. You say action after we roll camera. I'll say action. Some, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I forget. Sometimes people forget that. If I forget to say action or cut, just step in and say action or cut. He controls every aspect of the movie. He probably got rid of those people that questioned him creatively a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I also think that everyone just assumed that a Star Wars prequel would be an instant hit, regardless of what the plot was. Really, how hard could it be to screw up? It's like screwing up mashed potato. You boil the water and pour it the packet. Number one. <laughs> the biggest and most glaring problem with the Phantom Menace is the characters. This is like the most obvious part of movie making, but I guess I gotta explain it when talking about this turd. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start at movie making 101, shall we? Shall you see, in most movies, the audience needs a character to connect with. Typically, this character is something called a protagonist. When you're in a <laughs> weird movie with like aliens and monsters and weirdos, the audience really needs someone who's like a normal person like them to guide them through the, the He's story. showing Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Which of course doesn't apply to every movie, but it works best in the sci-fi, superhero, action, and fantasy <laughs> genres. <laughs> I picked a few examples to illustrate this point. He, he pauses. You don't have to go through it. This is gone. literally it's an hour long. You know, I know, but it's... But he it's, brilliantly it kept our fucking dissects yeah. the entire... Like, why the characters stink, what you don't know. Like, if I was Lucas and I saw this, I would blow my brains out. I, I'm so watching that. Oh, that, that, I that, like the wars. That was a great trailer for the, this little series that he put up on, on oh. the web. Because I'm so watching that. It looks hilarious. There was one thing in there that kind of, it, was, it looked like a spoiler for a later one. So I paused it all and it was almost done. I, I laughed. I fucking howled alone watching this. <laughs> and then I watched uh, the second one, which was the Clones one. Yeah, the Clone Wars. And just, again, all I kept thinking of is how there's no fucking connectable character. Hayden Christensen 
stinks. How awful. He's terrible, dude. Is Hayden Christensen. I think Natalie Portman is not good in those, and she's no. great, but she stinks in those. You know who's good? The old guy that played Dooku? Lord Dooku? Oh, yeah. Who's well, that? He's fucking uh, a famous uh, yeah, I know. Old, oldie actor. Um, who's been in a lot of uh, uh, movies? Uh, Christopher Lee. Yeah, oh, that was Christopher Lee. Yeah. Oh, right I, I kept thinking it looks like Christopher Lee. Christopher I didn't know Lee him. is is good. Uh, y- your comments though on fucking like Darth Maul. <sighs> you didn't like Darth Maul. No, and I hadn't watched this. Uh, by the way, I had not watched this review until after I was done Twitter. I didn't yeah. know that someone connected me to that. When you said Darth Maul, uh, it would have been. Better if they would have called him scary. What? Oh, so be a mean man, scary mean face. Mean man, scary face. <laughs> stunk. <laughs> you fucking stunk. You didn't like that lightsaber fight? No, it was awful. I mean, With it was him and. Uh, I didn't care about it. And and again, the old old soy sauce head. <laughs> the guy explained it better than I. Like what I twittered was basically as deep as I went with it. And mm-hmm. then I went and watched his review afterwards. And it's like it. You can't unsee the review. Like, the the lack of... A, I didn't give a fuck about those characters at all, so I didn't care that they were fighting. And, uh, uh, I gotcha. You know, I, 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 there's an old thing in acting, and I believe me, as a moderate or awful actor, <laughs> play the man, not the uniform, they say. Uh-huh. Like, when you're playing a cop, you don't, you don't go, Hey, pull over! I do, because I'm awful. <laughs> but a real actor... Like, look at Mark Hamill or something, or Harrison Ford. They were these interesting people... And this is what they did. Right. Hayden Christensen and Natalie Portman, they were playing the part. Like, they were trying to be princessy. Princess uh-huh. Leia didn't seem like a princess. No. She seemed like a chick who was a princess. Mm-hmm. That's why you liked her. And that's what this fucking... Uh, and I kept watching, mm. watching Hayden Christensen and going, he's not play, he's playing the uniform. Hayden Christensen, uh, Christensen terrible, could dude. not fucking play anything. He just stinks. I, I, I actually watched one other movie with he's him in it. He's fucking horrible, dude. Uh, and and he's, just a, he's just a bad actor. Well, he's kind of gone away. Yeah, yeah. Hollywood's pretty much done with him. Yeah, he's 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 done. Skate. They're not done with Jack Black and Steve Martin, Ugh. though. Oh, but they're done with Hayden. That's not as a, it's Jack Black and Steve Martin movie. You knew it stink, but that's not as offensive as this because I George Lucas. The dialogue in this was fucking terrible. Yeah, horrid. And to put Jar Jar Binks and give him that much, I don't comprehend it. Right. I don't comprehend how a guy who's supposed to be smart gives that fucking uninteresting, unfunny. Enraging character. Changes the whole series. It makes you hate it. Mm-hmm. And Liam Neeson was good, but like, uh, like yeah, the yeah. Liam was all right. Liam's... Why was he in it? He did nothing. Right. Gave a fuck about him. It was kind of odd that he he's he was in it, and then he's just you know not. Uh, and then I I did kind of like uh, Ian as a young Obi Wan Kenobi because of Obi Wan Kenobi. Like he kind of did a good impression of a younger version of Obi Wan, but. Again, put in that storyline and everything, it just it, mm. it didn't matter how well he did. The language stunk, though, because they kept saying, ah, my young pre- apprentice. Uh, oh, yes, my, my apprentice. My young Padawan. No one, it's like, they didn't talk like that in the first couple. They, that's why you liked them. That's why you liked fucking Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill, because they were just being themselves. Mark Hamill whining his way <laughs> through uh, the beginning of that movie. Ah, for Uncle Owen, you're fucking barbecued. <laughs> Do you know who I love was the guy that played Boba Fett's father. His name, he's an actor named... Oh, yeah, I don't Django know, Fett. Django um, Fett. Temuera Morrison, his name is, if I'm saying it right. Big Samoan motherfucker. No, he's from New Zealand. He was is a soap he? actor, and he was starting a movie called Once Were Warriors. Oh. He was fucking great. So I was happy to see him. And they didn't really got that dynamic thing going, or... I don't know. It oh, stunk. The first know, two were terrible. A little fight out in the rain was kind of cool, uh... That yeah, was there was a couple yeah. of good scenes. That was a good scene. There's, when they're going through the production thing, and he's getting, like, the, you know, he's trying to save Natalie Portman. But then you're just watching robots fight. I hated the big Jedi scene. It was like old Samuel Jackson, uh, and stupid Yoda spinning how, in the air like a toy. <laughs> Fuck George Lucas. <laughs> how he's old, a dick. How old is this movie now? Exactly. 2002, I think. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> Are we yet back at NEW? It really is. That's what made it so fun to watch. It was like... Wh- like, Jimmy, saw, you saw this for the first time. I've never seen... I'm gonna watch Ten the, years later, almost. I'm going to watch that dumb Sith movie tomorrow, which I hear is better than the other two. It yeah. is like watching... It was like reading the tweets of a retard. Because yeah, it enough. was so... It was shit from so long ago. You're like... Most oh, people have seen the movie multiple it. times. Yeah, which which made it better, too. Because, first of all, you don't got to worry about spoilers. Mm-hmm. And secondly, it, it, you're so detached by time from it that you almost forget about... Well, the things that you sat in the movie theater and went like, oh, sure. God. 
Well, the Phantom Menace was 99, so we are talking the previous century. Yeah. Wow. We're talking about an, another century. <laughs> yeah. so we're talking 12 years ago. Yeah. 